What do you mean, all of us? Fox, hey, what are you doing here? I've been summoned to Judge Riley's hearing because I was the victim of a crime. Listen, I didn't try and kill you, Fox. No, it's oh. true. Someone set him up. Ah, uh, well, uh, all I know is what I saw, okay? And what I saw was Miguel was at the wheel of the car that hit me. Well, look, it was dark. And if you were in the glare of headlights, how could you really see who was driving? They found pieces of his headlight on the street line next to me, Kay. Called a setup, Fox. We've all been set up here, even you. By the same freak who's been blackmailing Therese? Yeah, so why don't you tell that to the, to the judge? Have him call off the hearing. It's not gonna work. Why not? Oh, because the blackmailer's gotten to the judge, too. As a matter of fact, that's why Judge Riley has called this hearing to move up your trial dates as soon as possible. So Ethan wouldn't have time to prepare your defense. Can Judge Riley do that? We're all here, aren't we? So then things are hopeless. I'm going to prison. I'm gonna die. Well, that's great news. So whoever's setting up me and Miguel has a hold of Judge Riley too? Ethan, is there anything you can do to stop this? Fancy, I've, I've filed some motions to keep Riley from ordering immediate trials. I'm just hoping that my actions will help circumvent the blackmailer's threats without having his secrets exposed. When will we know? I'm waiting to hear Judge Riley's decision on my motions right now. And what are the odds that he's going to rule in our favor? They're not good. Because things wouldn't have gotten this far if Riley had an out. I'm sorry, please. Hey, you. No contact with the prison. Hey, you. Hey, come on, it's his sister. Give her a break. Rules are rules. I'll take any flack if there's a problem. Fine. I don't get paid enough to argue with scum and their lawyers. <sighs> At least my mom's not here to see this. Does she even know? Not yet. Theresa? You and Paloma need to stay strong for her, okay? My God. Wait. Wait, here you are facing God knows what. You're worried about everybody else. And you too, Miguel. You know, um... You can tell me what you said. Now that, uh... That you and Miguel were willing to sacrifice yourselves for my happiness. They bet you wanted me to just ignore what the blackmailer wanted so I wouldn't be able to help you so that I could be with Ethan. It's true, sis. Listen, I just want you to be happy. Well, I want us all to be happy, but it's just not going to happen. You know, if I would have just listened to the blackmailer and now he's going to make good on his threats. You know, and all of our lives are being ruined, each and every one of us. And I don't think I could stand it if either one of you were found guilty. Hey, don't go there, sis. Miguel's right. It's not over until it's over. Ethan's filing motions. Who knows? Maybe Judge Riley will rule in our favor. Yeah, and, and my dad could still find a clue that leads to the blackmailer. Sam hasn't yet. Neither has Ethan or a small army of private investigators. Fox, you're not helping. Well, I'm just saying. Judge Riley? Well, I see everyone's here. Why don't we get this over with? This doesn't sound good. I am holding today's hearings in my chambers. So if you will, please follow me. to hold the hearing in chambers means he's going to reject your motions, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Well, yeah. we'll find out soon enough. Hey, you. Hey. 
Father, it's me again. Did you, did you blackmail Judge Riley again? No. Well, somebody sure did. And unless I'm wrong, he's about to send Miguel to prison for the rest of his life. And once he's out of the way, it'd be easy to convince Kay to stay married to me. And Marie's gonna need the uh, security of a stable home, and once Dr. Gasparro comes up with a miraculous cure for my malignancy, well, I should be able to provide for my stepdaughter and my wife for many years to come. No, I have no idea who the blackmailer is, but I'll tell you what, if I find out, I'll be sure to thank him or her for deep sixing Miguel. Well, I have reviewed your motions, Counselor. Uh, giving special attention to your request for a change of venue for your client's trials. Yes, Your Honor. I feel the media coverage concerning the allegations against my client has prejudiced the potential pool of jurors here in this jurisdiction. I don't think my clients can get a fair trial unless the proceedings are moved elsewhere. And so you maintain. I also see that you've added an addendum to the motion that I recuse myself from the trial after granting the change of venue. That's correct, Your Honor. May I speak frankly? Oh, I, I, I wish you wouldn't. The truth can be so unpleasant. Aren't judges supposed to be all about the truth? Well, that's what I hear. Your Honor, we all know what's going on here. We're all being victimized by this blackmailer, okay? <laughs> blackmailer? What blackmailer? I don't know anything about a blackmailer. And you can't prove anything to the contrary. Then you have no reason not to recuse yourself and to move the venue of the trial. Maybe once we're out of harmony, this, this blackmailer will have a harder time impacting all of our lives. Well, if the blackmailer were impacting our lives, and, and I say, if, then you make a very strong argument for ruling in your favor. I must say I'm very tempted to... What is that? <laughs> She's laughing. No idea. I can take a hint. Well, I, I, I deny uh, your motion for a change of venue. And furthermore, I will not recuse myself as judge in this matter. Luis and Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald will stand trial immediately. What are you talking no. about? No! Oh, make it stop. Turn your phones off, people. Oh, thank you, guard. You'll be head of courthouse security first thing tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Where are my pillows? Oh. Shane! Shane! Where are my pills? Don't damn him in his fashion sense! Your pills, sir. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm looking for a personal assistant. Do you type? Excuse me. Um, do you mind if we keep our minds on the uh, subject at hand? Oh, yes. Uh, where were we? Um, oh, right. Your client's futures. Listen, Judge Riley, we can't let this blackmailer win. None of us can. Well, speak for yourself. My ruling was based solely on legal precedent. The hell it was, Judge. I, I repeat, uh, my ruling had nothing whatsoever to do with any alleged blackmail threats regarding, regarding my ethics. Judge, you're lying. Prove it, kid. Miguel, I'm sorry. Uh... I wish there was something that I could do to help you out, but I can't. It was you who I saw that hit me in the car. No, Fox, you were set up to think it was uh, Miguel. Can't you see that? I'm sorry. Uh, medication, it uh, comes back and bites me sometimes. Who is the damn black miller controlling us like circus animals? Well, if we knew that, Miguel, you and Luis wouldn't be in this mess. Um, Ethan, isn't there anything that you can do? <clears throat> Judge, can I have some more time to prepare my defense, please? Hmm. Let me think. Oh. Then order the evidence that was found in the bartender's apartment against Luis be suppressed. On what grounds? It was an illegal search. 
You're grasping at straws, Counselor. Your Honor, what do you want me to do? I mean, you're pretty much railroading my clients into a guilty verdict here. Oh, don't lecture me, Winthrop, or I'll take you off this case and turn it over to some idiot public defender. You can't do that. Oh, I can do anything I want, and I can do something else. I can do something that is guaranteed to make every one of you unhappy. What? What? What are you threatening now, Judge? What are you going to do now to disrespect justice in our country, huh? Things are going from bad to worse. Don't upset the judge any more than he is. Just listen to the lady or I'll hold you in contempt. Fine. Good. Now, where were we? You were issuing your rulings, Your Honor. Suck up. You, you could learn a lot from this man, Officer Crane. And by the way, your father must be ever so proud that his daughter is protecting the rights of the great unwashed. Oh, really, this is the end of days. Thank you. God, I'm too rich to be affected. Anyway, uh, back to uh, business at hand. It's after reviewing the specific charges being brought against Luis and Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald, I find it very difficult, well, impossible, to separate the crime. What? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you talking about? These are two completely different crimes. They have different motives. They have different allegations. They're completely different, Judge. Well, that's your opinion. No, it's not my opinion. It's the truth. Well, that's for me to decide. And since I'm unable to find just cause for separate trials... Judge, this is crazy here. I hereby order that Luis and Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald stand trial together. A double trial. That is ludicrous. That is outrageous. A jury can't separate the evidence here. That's your problem. Judge, this is without legal precedent, this whole thing. Well, what can I say? I'm just kind of a... Groundbreaking jurist. You go through with this ruling, you're going to guarantee that my clients are found guilty. You know that? Exactly. Judge, you cannot do this. You cannot try Luis and Miguel together. Where have you been? I can do anything I want. Now, I suggest you stop whining and start preparing a defense for your clients. Hmm? This hearing's adjourned. And I will see you all in court. <gasps> beginning of the end. And it's all my fault. 